The first website is coded with a budget of $1. The second website is coded with a budget of $100. So this is $100 code that you see right here. The third website is coded with a budget of $1,000. This is $1,000 code, guys. This is money in the bank. Look at this. We will be going through the various different websites, code base, code bases right after displaying the website so let's look at this website this is a website called one dollar this is one dollar code is basically just an empty website it's just a black hole uh, it's, it's literally just a black hole with the text one dollar the second website this is where we actually instantiate something we see something floating we see something spinning we see something animated out in outer space now look at this we have this cube we have this geometry we have this texture, we have the material, we have the colors added to this, this, to this awesome cube. We have added the colors, we have added the color material of red and white to it and it's spinning. It's literally animated in, in a, on a freaking website. That is awesome. This is $100 code guys. $100 codes are right in your eyes. $1000 codes is basically the same thing but look at the particle effects guys. Look at this. This is absolutely awesome. You will never see anything like this. It's absolutely awesome. It's spinning. It's cool. It's very awesome. And we will be going through the code very soon. Guys, listen to it. Oh, you can't really hear anything, but just look at it. It is magnificent. Look at the freaking particle effects in the background. This is absolutely beautiful. Listen to it. Don't listen to it, but look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. And we will be going through the code right now now so as you guys can see <clears throat> as you guys can see we basically let me just adjust this everything right so as you guys can see for the one dollar code we basically have a whole html file for all this code where we ba can basically plan everything this is basically a very basic uh, setup from the HTML part, there's not really a lot of code. We basically added the title. Uh, it's basically HTML boilerplate code. And then we import the FreeJS library through the CDN uh, link. So this, we need to add that this is a CDN link, where we basically grab the FreeJS package through, from the web. And uh, by grabbing this FreeJS packet, packet, uh, package from the web, we don't have to install it. We basically just grab what we need. And by grabbing this package, we can actually play around with, uh, yeah, play around with, with the FreeJS library. So here we actually define the global variables for the scene, camera, and renderer. There's a scene that is what you saw. The scene is basically the whole window. The camera is what allows us to actually display anything, and the renderer also allows us to display something. It, you will understand it if you actually work with game development. But let's get into the meat and bones of these awesome websites. So in this function in it, we basically instantiate. Oh, sorry, initialize. Initialize the FreeJS scene. We basically create a scene, give it a variable name then created from the FreeJS package that we grabbed from the CDN link, and then we add the scene. Initialize the camera with a perspective projection. We, we then uh, initialize a camera with, uh, from the FreeJS package, package called perspective camera with a field of view of 75. Take the whole window uh, inner width and divide it by the window inner height. And that is how you fill out the whole screen uh, in a web browser. The camera position is basically set to Z, sorry, on the Z axis. Uh, we basically set the camera five meters ahead. So we can actually witness this, uh, the text. And then we initialize the renderer that actually renders everything in the browser. This allows us to actually see it. Uh, we basically set set size and add it to the document. So we have the renderer. Um, I will just be going through this very quick. So that is the renderer and we basically append append this renderer to the DOM element. And that is what we see up here, I believe so. Yes, in this body. So we basically append it to the body and to enter the document. Then we create a canvas element uh, to draw our text. 
That's basically the, the one dollar text. Const canvas equals document dot create element. We basically create this element canvas and we attach it to the body. Um, const context equals canvas dot get text two D. We we're not dealing with any three D elements, so it's a uh, it should be easy on the resources for your computer. Canvas width. That's basically the width and the height for the canvas. Um, context dot font size. We use Arial forty eight pixels for the one dollar one dollar text and so forth this is why we actually edit the 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 sorry the the content of the web page and uh, this is why we actually create a free js texture from the canvas and apply it to a plane geometry and uh, then we start the animation loop if we go to the and the animation function we have the request animation frame uh, anim uh, animate and then we want to render this animation. So we basically say render that render scene and camera again. And we want to call this 60 times per second. Um, adjust the render and camera when the windows is resized. That is what basically what this function does. And then we call the init function to set up our scene. For the $10, for the $10 code, this is with the spinning. Sorry, this is with the spinning. Uh, this is where the spinning cube happens. This is, sorry, the $100 code. We need to rename these uh, functions because that is not correct. This is actually hundred dollars of code. Um, we basically have a HTML file again. Then we have in the style section, this is basically CSS. Uh, you are witnessing body. We basically set the margin to zero and the canvas is, <coughs> sorry, let's just get right into the body. We again grab the CDN link uh, where we basically grab the FreeJS package. We have we have these variables uh, called let scene, camera, renderer, and cube. We set up the scene and camera again with the FreeJS package. Uh, what else do we do? And then we have the free perspective camera field of view is basically the same thing. Set the camera position to five meters ahead. Then we then we render display everything we appended to the body of this uh, of this document. And what else do we do? We create a cube. This is where, where, where the magic happens. We create a cube with gradient material. Uh, it's not really gradient like that, but uh, it's not really smooth gradient. That is what I show you. Fluid gra gradient. But we do. But we did witness uh, the color of the cube being white and red, just to stand out and create some sort of contrast. Uh, we create the geometry, basically grabbing the the box geometry function from the FreeJS package. There we have the geometry, then we want to apply some materials, and then you have a cube. So you basically have a cube by adding the materials and geometry together. And that is what we do for each corner, or for each side of the of the cube. And then we all, whenever you create a new, or instantiate a new uh, game object, or a new object in FreeJS, you always have to add it to the scene. And then render the scene up here. Uh, there we go. And then we want to handle window resize, render loop. This is where the magic happens. We basically say take the, the, the rotate take the x-axis rotation of the cube and then spin it around. Uh, just multiply it uh, by uh, just uh, do this addition formula. I don't know what you call it in, in English. And then do the same thing in on the y-axis, which basically makes it spin it spin it around it that uh, awesome uh, carnival-ish rotation. And then we basically call this animation here. Now for the hundred dollar, for the hundred dollar code, we basically see this. Sorry, this is a thousand dollar code. I don't, I don't know how I messed this up. But as you guys can see here, we have this background. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. This is something you only witness. And yeah, guys, this is basically what we do. We uh, yet again we have the same HTML uh, setup. We basically add the styles. No, we actually don't add the styles. We basically have the JavaScript and the script for, in the script uh, HTML element component. So here again, we create the spinning cube with the same geometry and materials added to the cube and then added to the scene. Here is what the fun stuff happens, the particle effects. So we basically have the particles geometry equals new free buffer geometry. Uh, const particles counts equal 5000. And then we have the uh, position array equals new float float 32 array particles count times free. Initialize particle position in a random manner. It's basically for each, uh, for each I just run it up to the, to the what is it called, uh, pass array. 
And then you do some math. I don't want to go through this right now. We can do it in another video. That would be awesome. Particles geometry dot set attribute position equals new free buffer attribute position uh, position array free. Uh, set the appearance of the particles cons partic uh, particles materials equals uh, new free dot uh, points material. This is the color of green. Let me just add green green particle. And then we have the size 0 0.02. It basically looks like snow. Uh, particles, we want to add uh, the particles to the scene, and that is what we do there. So, to create, to actually create the particles, we basically take the particles geometry, and the particles material right here, and uh, right here, what what you create the geometry, and the material, and add it together in these particles. And then you want to animate it, so it basically falls down. You want to say cube rotation dot cube rotation on the y and the x axis should always be added to it. So it will uh, rotate continuously on both the x and y axis. Then we want to update the particle positions to create falling effects. We basically say particles dot geometry dot attributes dot position dot array for each uh, value and index. Uh, if index, this is a modular function. E three equals equals one. Particles dot geometry attributes dot position dot array idx minus equals 0.05 on the y axis. And that is basically how you do this. When it goes out of bounds, basically when it go, when it comes to look at my look at my mouse, when it comes, so when it falls all the way down on the y-axis, and when it goes out of bound, this means basically out of this uh, window window size, then you basically wanna turn it back up here. So from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom. And then you want to render the updated CD. Anytime you create something or do something in FreeJS, you always want to add it to the scene and then you want to render it again. So this is our animate function and we basically call it up here. And this function in it. What else? Uh, adjust the camera and this basically for resize and then we always call the init function down here below at the end of the script. And that's basically it guys. You just witnessed a thousand dollars worth of code Versus a hundred dollars worth of code Versus one dollar worth of code I hope you guys like this video and learned something because this is absolutely very this could actually be very useful for anybody who wants to get into web design or web programming or developing 3d portfolios this has been your boy I say thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below see you in the next one